Hey Google, turn party light on. Nice. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthew Van der I'm a time-lapse photographer living in London. This channel is all about time-lapse travel and tutorials. And today I'm finally talking about my camera bag that I got in September. This bag, the F-Stop Diota 20, launched in September 2019. I am an ambassador for the brand. They asked me to make a video about it. It's been on my to-do list for forever. This is the, uh, the post-it note that's been on my desk literally since September where I decided to do a combined video where I both talk about the bag and I talk about which time-lapse camera gear that I use. So in this video, I'll be talking about this and the gear that I use these days. And that's pretty much it. Disclaimer, I'm an ambassador for the F-Stop brand. I have been that for a couple of years and I just really like their stuff. They're the ultimate combo between like nice travel, hiking, adventure bags and camera bags as well. I've got quite a few of them. I have used kind of, it's not the predecessor, but it's kind of a similar model. This is the Dalston. I've been all over the world with this bag, literally. A lot of continents, this has seen quite a lot. And I upgraded to the Diota 20. So I will be showing you what's so cool about this bag and what's inside as well. So you get a nice combo video. I'm also very excited because I've had a huge week, very busy, lots of stuff to do. And my girlfriend left me. Well, she's just back at work. Should have worded that differently. But yeah, Amelia's back at work. So I've got all this space now for activities, and I can play it with nice lights and this light and I have space now. We're no longer sharing a small one bedroom flat 24 seven, which is great. So I can do some nice filming. Anyways, let's begin. Yeah, this is the bag. It's kind of like a, a stealthy bag. The material is waterproof or it's like weather sealed. The zips are welded zips. I'll be showing you some close-ups. It's got a front accent. Access bit, those are memory cards, luckily. Side access, a laptop thing at the back. It's got this front buckle bit, which is great for extra, um, you know, stability when you're trekking. And you can hang things here. As you would have seen, I love carab carabiners, carabiners. And I often hook up like a water bottle here or like an extra lens pouch or something. It's really quite convenient. So let me give you an overview of the camera bag first and then I'll talk about the time-lapse gear that is in this bag. As you can see at the bottom, there are these tripod straps. They come as extras. Let me take the tripod out. Clip, clip. I honestly usually just mount this on the top here like that. And then I take these straps off because when you put the bag down, it actually stands up, which is really nice because the other one didn't do that. And I quite like that. Let's begin with this thing. This is a Manfrotto B3 carbon fiber. It is, in my opinion, one of the best travel tripods around. As you can see, it is extremely small and the legs go around like that. And then you lock them in that position. And it's got a little ball head just like so. Obviously extends with these claps, clasps, clamps, clasps to about this height. Camera goes on there. I've, sh I've used this. <laughs> I've used this to open beers as well. I don't know if you can see that. These little thingies. But yeah, this tripod, I've had it for years. Got it from Manfrotto and yeah, I, I really love this thing. I've seen the new model. I'm quite excited to try that one as well. But yeah, that is my tripod. The other tripod I use most of the time but when I'm out shooting with one bag and one camera, that's the tripod I use. This is another Manfrotto carbon fiber. This is the 190 Go. Highly recommend this. Everyone that uses it, yeah, seriously loves that. So let's go inside the bag. First up, it's got this nice aluminum buckle thing and then the top rolls open like that. So it's a huge, huge bag because you can fill it up all the way and then just have that top bit. So it's really uh, quite an extension. It's got magnets here, which is also new. So that kind of clips like that and then you open it up and then I just have like a top top load. First up, you know this, this is that $1 dog bowl that I bought off Instagram that someone cut a hole in uh, and I paid like 30 pounds for it or whatever. I'll link that video up there so you can look at it. Pretty much this is a reflection blocker for when you're shooting through glass or through windows. Pop that on your lens and that goes against the glass and then you have no reflection. So this is super, super useful. It weighs almost nothing. It's flexible and collapsible. And yeah, it's something that I have in my bag all the time because every now and then you're out traveling and uh, you want to shoot through window and you don't want reflections because that ruins it. Next up, 
first aid. I have a little first aid kit in here. It's got basic stuff, band-aids, painkillers, allergy pills. What else? Well, a bunch of stuff, just like useful, just in case. It's always good to have some, uh, some of that stuff on you. And then in here, I have reusable cutlery because I don't like using plastic. Same for this straw, it's a metal straw. Tissues for when you're out in the bush and you need to use the toilet, for example. Definitely useful. An emergency poncho in case that you're caught in a rainstorm. Also, I've had to use that. Whoops, I should really grab something that's reusable and not like a single use because I don't like using plastic. I mean, I guess you can reuse that, but yeah, it's a poncho, useful. And that's pretty much the top bit. Now, there is like, I can fit my whole arm in here. Pretty much, you see that, that's great. So a lot of stuff uh, goes in there, but yeah, I usually just roll that up like so, and then you can clip that wherever you want it. So you can clip it like that as well. So it, you know, it changes kind of the size of the bag, but yeah, that's pretty much it. The back here, let me show you that. Man, I'm sweating, it's hot today, what's going on? This like relief, whatever back pattern, so there's a bit of airflow. It's, you know, you're still gonna sweat on your back as I'm doing right now, but it's definitely nice and sturdy and also protects the laptop that's in here. My 16 inch MacBook Pro fits in this bag, which is really quite useful. And it also has an extra couple of pockets in there for paperwork. Something that I've got in there is a Fast pass immigration card for Australia because sometimes the queues there just get ridiculous. What else is in here? I don't know what that is. Just in case you need like an, em an emergency, whatever. I've got some uh, some passports in case you're traveling and you need a emergency visa, whatever. I've had to use this in um, Nepal or India years and years ago. It was definitely, definitely useful there. Also an improvement with the previous bag is this little extra patch. If you load this up and say there's like 20 kilos of gear in here, just the fact that you have this little extra, slightly bigger grip versus the, the thin one you can see here. It's a different strap or handle, I guess. Let's go to the side. I, okay, let's begin with the front pouch, what I've got in there. Again, these welded zippers, they're amazing. No rain gets in. There's two, two pouches. I'll show you a separate shot of that. In the top one, I have a bunch of my business cards. A little notepad, another one of those immigration car, uh, cards, field notes, and my Belgian driver's license for some reason. I'd rather have it on me than at home in a, in a drawer in case I need it. Earplugs, protect your ears, very important. I used to shoot a lot of festivals and not having earplugs is stupid. What else is in here? Man, I'm sweating. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a fresh, what is it? Is it F-Stop or SERP, some brand? It's a fresh lens cloth to clean your lenses. You don't want grime and stuff on there and they always get so dirty and I never wash them. So yeah, that's that. This is an F-stop face mask. This is something I bought recently. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the way it fits on my face, but I do love the design. But um, I mean, does it really matter because I've got a beard and it, you know, beards are shit um, for masks. So, but I don't wanna sacrifice the beard because then my face looks strange. Definitely useful. Uh, that's pretty much it besides this Licked, you know, Licked, my favorite music website. In case you don't know Licked, they allow you to license commercial tracks for your YouTube channel and socials so you don't get copyright claims. This is a multiplug, so it's got a iPhone charger, USB-C, micro USB, and a normal one. Plugs into a battery such as this Anchor power bank, it's like 10,000 mAh. It's good for your phone or charging GoPros or whatever. If when you're on the road, very, very useful. And this is a messy video, but I actually don't mind it. It's nice to not have to follow a script and it's nice to just do what I want. The thing when filming like continuously like this and you're always talking, you get so out of breath. Anyways, you open these welded uh, zips and there's little SD card holders or other card holders there. And then obviously you got a camera. This is one of my two 6D Mark IIs with a 24 seven lens. It's either this camera or the S1 with a 24-105 that I'm filming on right now. This is still a very, very good camera, even though it's almost three years old now. Still use it all the time. It's a time-lapse machine. Got a video that I made. It's one of Amelia's hairs on here. Video I made for Canon that talks about the 62 and the 1DX2. Yeah, it's honestly just a solid thing to have in your bag. Like, I could use that as an all-rounder any time of day. Then... A remote. This remote works for both the S1 in case I need it or other cameras. It's the Hanel Capture. I've got a video about it up here with two cables. This is for 5Ds, this is for the S1. And then there's the wireless receiver as well in case you want to, I don't know, shoot some long range selfie, I guess, in a distant landscape. And then I also have a f-stop memory card messages. Hey Rob, Rob Malali. <gasps> f-stop memory card pouch, which has a bunch of cards in there. 
it says it's a CF wallet, but I've got some SDs in here, so, you know, I don't know if that's allowed. That is that side. Oh yeah, and a little lens pen cleaner. Very useful. Let's keep that going, throwing things behind me. Other side of the bag. I really like this side axis, by the way. Um, I know some people that don't like it, but I really, really don't mind it. This is, standing on one, <laughs> Like, obviously, a little phone clamp. Uh, having been a Samsung ambassador and having just got my S20 Ultra, I used to shoot a lot on my phone and I still will be doing that because I think it's nice to challenge yourself shooting on a phone. And it's cool when you work with brands like that. They always love it when you do that. So I can use this for my phone or for my GoPro Hero 8. Man, I am in love with this thing. Definitely will be reviewing that soon. Then for the cameras, ND filter, this is actually a ND filter and a polarizer, circular polarizer in one. I got that from Polar Pro. I love Polar Pro, they're my favorite filter brand. They're really cool people, they're based in California and their filters are just amazing. Really, really cool stuff. That's a 77 mil, fits on most of my lenses. So that's very convenient. Then, little motion control. This is a small hockey puck sized panning device, so it rotates your camera. This is made by Serp, this is the new one. I've got two of these in a bracket, I still need to make a video about that. It's kind of similar to this video about this bag. I got it ages ago, I told myself I'd make a video about it, but I uh, never got around to it. So yeah, this is the Serp Genie Mini 2, I think it is. Very cool device, really love it. Love the brand, love the people. Let's get everything out of this bag, because this bag actually allows you to take out the ICU, which is the internal camera unit, and the way it stays in place is also with magnets, which is pretty cool. So that's the internal internal camera thing compartment, which you can change around as, you know, however you want. And that means you have a huge bag that is completely empty uh, that you can fill with other ICUs or whatever. You don't have to access it from the sides. You can access it from the top as well. And that is pretty much it. So this is like a basic time-lapse kit. It's like a run and gun. It's like a go bag. Say I um, want to go shoot and I want to have everything covered. I want to shoot some some vlogs. I should probably put a microphone in there. I could use this uh, Rode mic. Uh, what do you call these? The mini whatever. They're super awesome. Or just the video micro that I used to use a lot when I was still vlogging, which I don't really do anymore, but I might do some vlogs soon. Let me know if you want to hear that or see that. Drink break. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. It's a it's a good bag. I like it. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to make this video because I told F-Stop I would do it, and I'm sure that you guys might be interested in what I use as a minimal time lapse kit. So this is the follow up to my previous minimal time lapse kit. Last time I made this video, I said I would do a maximalist time lapse kit where I have my motion control gear, which is under here. This is also syrup. This is a carbon. F oh shit. <laughs> This is a carbon fiber extendable rail. Here you put a motion control head on and then you've slowly moved the camera over that. Um, I'm sure you've seen those ty types of things before. Let me pop that. So yeah, if you want to see that video where I talk about the more extensive gear that I have opposite of a minimal time-lapse bag, let me know. Bit of a ramble video here, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Totally different style from what I usually do. If you want to support the channel, check out patreon.com slash metjoes. Check out my ebooks. I've got an ebook that's called Passive Income for Creatives, which teaches you how to set up a passive income system to help diversify your income streams, which is great. Uh, talks about how to set up Amazon affiliate links, how to set up a Shopify, how to make PDFs and ebooks and digital downloads, and how to make money with that using the internet from wherever you are, using just a laptop, which is great. And then of course, I've got some time-lapse ebooks as well. Any other videos you wanna see, drop it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.